Trini, hello. Hello, my darling. Today, Jemima, I want to look at what are your core knitwear pieces? How can knitwear change current outfits you've got? What neckline should we look at in knitwear? You know, moving on from that conversation we started to have about age is cool and what mm -hmm. that means. Where do you bring a motif and where do you make it plain? And where do you do look stripes and where do you do other things? All very pressing issues. Very pressing issues. And also, to what extent can you steal from your daughter's wardrobe? Ooh. And start wearing some of her jumpers. This is the one area where Lila has incredibly textured, fun jumpers. And there's room for that too, but how can you do it? Not as a teenager. Okay, do you want to start with what you're wearing? I will start with what I'm wearing. This is from Essentials Antwerp. It's a jumper not made of wool, but it's still knitwear. And it's a cotton blended mix and it has lovely thumb holes in it. I love that. So the key component for me here is I have got underneath my little shoulder pad moment, which I had made because I want it to have structure and knitwear so easily can give us none in any level. Mm -hmm. Boobs, shoulders, everything. So we want to go and really make it feel like it's a fitted tailored jacket, Jemima, in terms of what it does. Yeah, and the posture is great. Posture's good, gives me that posture when mm -hmm. I'm tired. So trousers are me and M, and I've become quite obsessed this season with a look that I'm gonna show you in a few different ways, which is about the sleeveless round neck tank top, properly worn when I was at school <laughs> as a part of my jumper. <laughs> and this I love because it's going to change some skirts and some dresses that I'm about to show you. But it gives you that feeling of casual fun and i love the mix of texture this is from cos it is this season and i love the pink and pinks together the art of wearing these well is not for me that they should be fitted mm -hmm. that's how i would have used to have worn something like this i just want to have the cleanness of that i love this as a look and i like the different pinks i like the fact that there's dark and light and this is bright and dull mm. you sort of go together and you've layered knitwear so well that it doesn't look bulky but doing knitwear on top of knitwear you can feel that's really bulky they're both cotton knit so i'm not going to feel overheated because they're not too hot but they've added some more style to an otherwise outfit which could be deemed quite plain. Mm, it's very cool. Yeah. I'm just going to start with this, which is that kind of jumper and a long skirt and no definition and nothing on the face. And now I'm just going to make it a bit sexier. I'm wearing navy, so with navy, to be honest, it's always got to be a little bit of Swainy or Rossi, but it's a red and I just want to amp up the look of this very clean jumper. There you go. Changes the eyes and the complexion immediately. This is a very old skirt from Serena Butte, oh. but when she had a brand called Anonymous. So I'm gonna take this jumper, I love this jumper. I have just got this jumper from me and M. And what I like is it's got a half tuck. So I'm gonna tuck in the front like that, and I'm going to have the back out, and I've got the lip. And it has very cleverly thought through the length of people's arms. So if you're petite, you wear it folded like that, there, mm -hmm. which I could do, and I can wear it with my cuffs and do that slightly evening look. Yes. But it, it's having that very blank canvas and just adding things to it. So I can have that. Then I could think, let me have a little bag. I could do a little look to Morris and just do a little bit of sort of shimmer. There, keeping it very clean. Yeah. Like that, even the stripe across. Also, I know we talked about contrasting colours and mm -hmm. it's kind of blue with orange, isn't it? And the Swainy is looking a lot more orange because you've got the blue. It looks great. It's so true. It does look it's the most orange. Yeah. And I like that pop because we love orange and blue together, especially Corbett. But like this, I'm just thinking I want to wear this now as a look for work, a long skirt, which I haven't worn for years. I'm really thinking what other long skirts have I got up my sleeve? And it's just navy and, and a really good well-cut jumper with a shoulder pad. But I might think, shall I add in a little belt moment? Because now we can just start to pile on because there is a collar here. I'm not adding a necklace. This belt I got from a second-hand pre-love store called a Pandora's. And I'm just gonna put that on the skirt and at the front where the jumper is tucked in. Put that on. So you'll see it at the front and at the back you don't see it. You that's that. great. Yeah. What would you say to women who feel very, like frumpy in jumpers because that's a high neck, they d might not want to tuck in, how would they kind of combat that? I totally get that Jemima. If you've got boobs mm. and you wear a polo neck, you can feel jumpers just make you uni boob. And it's something that when Susanna and I did want not to wear, it'd be like, we put so many women off wearing a polo neck because it just made you all one. I feel I've broadened my 
horizons since that show. But some women get to a stage where they don't want to even realize their boobs get in the way. So they do things to wear them low, put a, a sport bra on, not one that lifts them and pushes them up front. So I think if you minimize your boobs, you can wear a pearl neck. But if you've got very prominent boobs, then maybe you want to make that a gentle little V like this. Okay. You know, and perhaps then wear a necklace in the middle of some kind. Although yeah. cinching in at the waist does help as well, doesn't it? It does help, and you wouldn't want to do that up and down look. Mm -hmm. Would you say this is an outfit everyone can wear? Because I can see any age wearing this. I can see any age wearing it, and you could wear it with trainers, you could wear it with a pair of boots. I have a difficult, complicated relationship with skirts, but when they're ankle length like this, I think, wow, love it. Mm. You just want to feel cool at the top so you don't feel you're turning into a sort of Edwardian figure. With the Tudor rough. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> out. I'm starting off with this outfit, which is Nadam Kashmir. They're about hundred pounds and they have a squillion colors. Their sizing comes up a bit small and their sleeve length can come up small. So this is the smallest man's I think I got. Oh. Um, and I'm wearing an old ASOS pair of trousers but I love a sequin trouser with a cashmere jumper and I just want to reel off places I love cashmere. Okay. M&S always has good cashmere. Sometimes the cut can be dodgy. Cos has fantastic cashmere. It's cashmere that over the years has never got really sort of bobbly with me. From Future is a brand I'm going to show you. Should we quickly look in Lila's cupboard? I'm going to show you that now. <laughs> she has some from Future that give you an idea. So this is a From Future jumper and she's worn this so many times. She got a very small size. It's still doing all right and they have the funnest, coolest cashmere. She got it in a pop-up in Paris. The problem is if you live in England, the import duties make it a bit more expensive, but otherwise they're usually like 100 to 140 pounds okay. um, for cashmere. Other great jumpers I'm just gonna talk about. We all love, this is another from Future, but it's not that dissimilar from Zara. This is a cotton jumper from Zara, but I got two of these, Lila loves them, and they came in a purple shape too. When they do that proper wool, it's a good wool, and we've washed this so many times, mm -hmm. and yet it's still staying okay, so I really like those. Yeah, I it also was, have that jumper, and it's very jumper. warm. It, it's really warm, <laughs> and it lasts. This is a great jumper. This was a real gift for Lila from Sandro, but that kind of very thick jumper, thick wool, and it keeps its shape. So when you have a jumper like this, which has a real structure to it, has this beautiful big shoulder, but that jumper was a Christmas dress for Lila, and it was quite expensive, but it will last. And when you think about jumpers, you want to think, what's my statement jumper? What's my classic cozy jumper? What's my emblem fun jumper? And look at things from the categories in which you will use them. If um, you're yeah. not a jumper girl, yeah. how can you get into it? Well, I think you can get into it with sleeveless jumpers. These, I think a few of these are pre-loved. That might be new from Zara. But, you know, these sleeveless jumpers, you might look in the wardrobe and think it's in Lila's wardrobe, it feels young. Would that feel young if I wore that? All right, this is House of Sunny. This is a sort of cult teenager brand from Selfridges, like Christmas presents type of thing. And I think you can wear these if you wear them this is about sharing your teenage daughter's wardrobe mm -hmm. now the right way around. Doesn't that feel so good? Lila's gonna watch the nation and say, mommy, you were in my cupboard. <laughs> so when I look at that, would I do that as a look? Yes, because it's just changed the fundamentals of what this look is. And it was quite classic before, and now I've put that on. In the pattern, in your jumper underneath, you want the lightest color mm -hmm. from the pattern on there. So that actually works really well. It makes the sequin more sort of pared down. I don't feel like I'm a teenager because there's a sophistication in the other elements and fabrications of what I'm wearing. Yeah, and a good way to get into knitwear if you're in warmer climates great way with sleevelessness yeah. yeah or a really thin top underneath have that bit over your hair before you pull it up <laughs> and then you won't get makeup on your outfit well done okay. getting dressed for Trini 101 <laughs> 101 that is a 101 for my next look I'm just gonna put some fun in the outfit by adding sheer shimmer in Nicole just immediately gives that lip which is a bit browny a bit pinky so this is a little bit of outfit building I've got these tweed trousers from me and M, which mm -hmm. I got from not that long ago. And because it's tweed, I love a bit of neon. So I'm just gonna shove that on like that. Then I'm gonna take this, which is a little camouflage top. 
from me and M. I love that you wear camouflage with neon. Well, I just felt, what would I put underneath this? And I don't want to put classic, like, I'm just about to be That's... in the countryside. So it just works. And then it comes with this genius little snood. Oh, detachable. So it's detachable. So you can either have that and you could put it there and have it really high up there like that. Yeah. Which is great and really warm and cozy. Or you could have it and do it like that, which would be all right as well, actually. That's nice. Or you could just decide you've got cold ears <laughs> and it could be some kind of, you know, I don't know. But I, I love that. I just think it's got tremendous flexibility. It's frankly. so practical. Would you pop the collar out? I'm going to tell you that the neckline of the jumper is a little bit low. So that's now, hello, I'm Bertie. Nice to meet you. <laughs> like a cravat. Just like that. I used to do that at school. I used to wear a, a, a polo neck and then a shirt. This is a look I love in the late 70s, early 80s. Off it comes now. But um, because this is a high collar, I can make a feature of it and have this lower down. And you know, if you are somebody with boobs, there are V-neck options of these, by the way. Um, but they don't have the snud. But that also is a nice look. But, you know, sometimes a shirt and a pair of trousers is boring. I'm loving sleeveless tanks. They're like my new best friend. So I'm going to start with old Zara dress. Uh, it feels quite smart. So I'm just going to get this little sleeveless tank again, my goodness, and put it over. This has a little pussycat bow. And I think the joy of pussycat bow is that you can then make it an integral part of the jumper because it's gonna come over and do the thing that we love to do on a half tucked in trouser, but on the top. So it looks like a skirt and top now. It's very comfortable. I bought this during lockdown and it's from two Sainsbury's range and it's just this red jumper, which is the most fabulous shade of red. And I'm gonna wear red, red and red and I'm gonna see what I can do with it because I feel like a layering moment comes on. All right, you've got a big oversized jumper doing nothing for you, but you want to layer it and use it stuff. So take it up high and you're going to pin it really tightly at the back. So you're going to shorten it by how tight it's going to be around your waist. So then I can just decide to tuck it up and have it come down to a length that looks good. And then I could put a belt on or I could not have the trousers on underneath. And then at the back, it just goes down in a little V. Oh, can you lift that up so we can see what you've done at the back, So please? all I've done is I've just put a safety <gasps> pin like oh. that. And it just takes a jumper from feeling like it was a really oversized big jumper and gives it structure. And I can decide how high, like I could make it a really short jump, like put this over my boobs like that and have it so it's like that. And then I could put a belt here. We can play and play and play and play. God, I love playing. Just going to look at this. I don't know if I'll keep the trousers on, but I'm just playing with the top half. That's it, it just sort of nips there. I mean, I have got the trousers popping out. I think it might be better without trousers, do we think? Yeah. 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 I found a pair of boots the other day and I thought, oh, those could be cool with something. These are very old Zara little ankle boots and I could have red tights on underneath, which we do have, but I'm too hot to do both. So I think probably this is the wrong color, maybe. But you see what I mean, how it's just changed the shape of the jumper. So this one now is right over my boobs. Mm -hmm. Here, I put it up to here. But when you look at the back, it's still just going in a nice V, which actually is quite flattering that things should go in a V. Yeah, you've done that so well. And I love that this jumper's from Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's. Um, when you're saying, mm, maybe this is the wrong orange yeah. on the belt, when do you know when it is the wrong or when you could get away with it and just leave the house? Very good question. It's too dirty. This is a very clean red. This is a sort of fresh pinky red. And this is dirty. Time to say goodbye. White boot, the white belt. Lovely, I love that shape. So, so good, and also what I like about this jumper, I got it really big, so the sleeves are long. Mm -hmm. Also, that shoulder pad looks great for the It really helps. Yeah. This is a great outfit. It's a good outfit. Created from Zara, Zara, Central Antwerp, and Sainsbury's. Shows what you can do. <laughs> <laughs> now, there are definitely days when everyone wants to wear a jumper and jeans, and I just think, what should you make your base? What's your base minimum? Challenge yourself on what's that most relaxed thing you'll wear. So it could be this easily, but could you not just put tiny bits in it? So even your baseline outfit has some interest and stimulation. First thing would be to me, I would put shoulder pads underneath it. So just give the structure there. I would also change how I wear it. Now you might not like your tummy. There's two things you can do. One is you can do a half tap with the jumper and the other is that you can layer something underneath it and you could do the little safety pin thing and change the length of the jumper. Or you could also consider putting a really fun necklace on it. So I'm going to put this one on that we got from a lovely Trini Triber 
and it's just a sort of piece of architectural flatness. There's lots of chokers you can get where you just have something that looks like it could be a part of the jumper. Yeah. And this brand, Molly's now looking it up because she's so brilliant, but it looks like it's sewn onto the jumper. And that's the key here is that it shouldn't be a necklace that sort of is full and, you know, jangly. Yes. It's like, is it a part of the jumper? Yeah, it looks like, like it's part of the jumper. Like then you could put a little belt on maybe something we could change to a high heel. But just having the structure and something fun around the neckline makes a difference. And it's reversible too, so I could do it Ooh, that way around as well. Oh, gold. clever. Yeah, that's very clever, isn't it? Because if you suit gold with this jumper colour, it's silver because I suit silver more than gold. So there's the gold. You see, look how it does nothing for me, that gold. Mm. Oh. Simple, simple little things to change out what your baseline is. So I'm doing a weird yellow, so it's time to wear Afric, which I love with weird yellow, which is the warmer yellow. So I'm just going to make the makeup a little bit warmer and the blusher a little bit warmer. And I'm even going to put Afric gently on my eyes. So overall, I've just become the tone that's closer to this color that's half suits me like that. This is about those fitted little jumpers. And I think you can wear a fitted jumper with a fitted pair of trousers, but I think that looks old fashioned. So I think if you have a really skinny jumper, you can do a really big pair of trousers as long as you have the shoulder pad because the shoulder pad allows the, the volume of that trouser to work. And if I didn't have the shoulder pad, it might look all a bit skimpy. I see. Um, Where is this from, Trini? This, this is a eight year old Celine jumper and these are essential underwear. And then you could also put on a belt, you know, that would be a sort of classic belt to put on with it. And I don't know if it's going to work because it's a bit too big for me. No, it's not. Do you have taken it? Yes. Oh my God, Molly, that <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> you know, high-waisted big trousers need some waist definition. Let's say you're somebody who has thighs you feel control your life and direct what clothes you buy. Consider volume trousers that are high waist enough to then give you a waist at the top. And then I just love that kind of look. Where's the belt from? The belt is Zara. All of these belts today, I feel like I need to buy some belts. I know, you just feel, it, it is a belt movement today. But again, colour too. I've taken two slightly different yellows. One is more mustard and one is more daffodil. But they live in a family that's quite far from neon and lemon. So they can just about, it's like neon and lemon can't really go together, but daffodil and mustard kind of can. And you put your best one by your face. Best one by my face. Mustard is not a good friend to my hair and skin combination. So another way to do this look is steal your daughter's jumper from Zara and have it so that it's wide, but it comes to the high waistline of what you're wearing. Wearing a motif jumper, I think other elements of your outfit need to be quite chilled mm -hmm. and not like a skinny jean and a motif jumper. I quite like the floppy trouser with the motif of the mushroom. It is a childlike motif. But I do like that look. Yeah, and you've made it more grown up with that trouser. Yeah, the trouser is something, not something Lila would wear. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> Yet. So I'm going to do that, actually. Thanks so much, Lila. I'm going to keep this in my cupboard now. Trini, yeah. please can we see some of your all-time favourite jumpers? Um, okay. <laughs> like price, no problem. Price, no problem. This price, is the no closet problem. confessions moment. Yeah. All right. I shall start with one that I love because I'm kind of, you know, I am British and it's this I got from Eldon Kashmir many, many years ago and it's the Union Jack flag and I adore it. One of my favourite pictures actually with Lila, it was the day of the Queen's Golden Jubilee oh, and wow. Lila had this Union Jack stuff on. So it just has also the best memories for me. I have some of my favourite jumpers. So the jumper Lila most likes steel there is between three jumpers. And <laughs> if you followed my shenanigans in Colorado, you'll see that some of these lie on and they look much better on her. This I love because it has weird reasons. It's from Prada, but my dad in the 60s had a jumper like this for skiing. And it was made of that really rough, uncomfortable Shetland wool mm -hmm. kind of feeling. And Prada went and made it with a really nice wool. And I got it and it's very long in the sleeve and Lila, it looks so much better on her because she really suits black. White and off white. It's, it's black and colour. What made you buy it? I know, it? I know, because I because I was obsessed with that print. There's no excuse actually. I bought it. So this Lila wore beautifully in uh, Colorado, and many of you said it was so much better on her. Now I am wearing very warm makeup, so I look deathly in this. <laughs> I can just say to you, when I'm wearing very cool to makeup, in fact, I have to put it on because you have to know that it suits me too. Either Swainy or Rossi, so it's going to be some Swainy because it's the quickest way for me to be able to wear this colour. And then I'll just take the excess 
and just give myself some cheek. It's the right tone and not too orange. So this is a company called The Elder Statesman and they make the most divine cashmere. Is it comfy? So comfy. Okay. Three ply cashmere can't not be comfy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another jumper I'd never like to lose ever, which has got to be my all time favorite Zara jumper. You've got the lip to match. You know, I talk about taking stuff in hand luggage because I'll be scared and never be able to buy it again. I put this with those elder statesmen's, a few hundred pounds apart in price, but equally dear to me in my wardrobe. And this I is love Zara. the detail. Yeah. yeah. You know, when they could afford for 29 99 to do pearl buttons with another trim and two different colours. And a long sleeve. And a long sleeve. It's great. Couldn't be better. So, should we have a little chat about next week? Yes! Come on. So, darling, I noticed. Very smart. So tell, walk me through, because last week's challenge was? How you style a black dress. Mm -hmm. And can I just say, I'm currently moving house and all of my clothes are in storage. All so right. I feel like this is a bit rushed, but it's little vintage Laura Ashley. My God. And honestly vintage, like 90s, you know. I'll tell you how I deem vintage, mm -hmm. is when I was in the 90s, 1970s was vintage. Okay, so, so your nineties, yes, and it's twenty years difference yes. still, thirty years difference nearly. So God, yes, okay. that's vintage. Blazer, which um, I got from my sister, so Very she nice. might see this. <laughs> and can't yeah, I love it. So all black. Yeah, yeah, really nice because this adds something on. You can wear black. You've got the skin hair and eye. To I wear did black really Jemima. want to do. Do you think? Yeah, so? I think you do because you have. When you look at your eyes, look at Jemima's eyes. Jemima has a darker rim around her blue eye, which denotes for me the quickest way to tell if you can wear black. Mm. Whereas I don't. So I can wear black, but I will look good in black with makeup. You can wear black without any makeup. Mm, I have put a lip glow in lava, <laughs> but um, I do think I prefer navy though. You do. I just do, yeah, but I do. do. I liked the challenge of wearing black. I think it's lovely. Very Thank cute. You. What are we thinking for next week? Because we're now into November, mm. and where it's cold. Uh, so I do feel it's a coat moment. Molly, I know you want to do coat. Always dying to do a coat. I love doing coats. All right, so I think we could do coats. We're going to be looking at what colours are in your cupboards moving into the new year, and just removing the colours that don't suit you. I'd love to be like in the office in an outfit because I never have time to get ready before I go out. So. How to take yeah, it. Yeah, that day tonight is actually quite day tonight. Oh, I love a day, day tonight. tonight. Yeah. That was yeah. Should we have day tonight next? Should we forget about coats? So many dilemmas. Ladies and boys, tell us what you think. Until next week. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Jemima. Thank you, Molly.